Good morning. Hope everybody's okay. Sorry it's been a while, man. You know, life is hectic and everything. Um, but I am trying, feeling better. Had COVID. I've got a newborn baby. Um, what else? Got three kids, four kids to look after. You know, and plus I work 14 hour days. So I'm trying to, to get into a flow of creating the videos, but stay tuned. Um, what I'm going to cover in this video today is just, again, to... to talk about the market you know i'm sure you can see my screen here i've got azure devops azure and azure security punch in for the contract world and it's, it's hitting a figure of 1697 i'm going to talk to you about the figures what i think is going to happen for next month and we're going to compare it job watch and see where where certain jobs rank um also i'll just brief you on this book that i'm reading it's been, I've had this book for like two years. I only have the time now to friggin' read the thing. So if you're like me working long hours, doing long things, yeah, it takes time to, to get there, doesn't it? Anyway, um, I think if I look at these figures next month, I think these should double. And I'll tell you why. Everybody's financial year probably ends in April. In fact, no, I take it back. In the beginning of June is where I think things will happen. Reason being is because, oh, by the way, you can't get on life without coffee, boys and girls. So caffeine up. Um, every, you know, I've never seen the market like this in the 13 years I've been contracting. And it's like, for for the job market to be at 1697 is is it just speaks just speaks volumes but anyway the point being is this <clears throat> if you're in the IT sector or you're looking to get into it it's a very good call it's it's not a bad place to be and the thing is is that a lot of people will feel that well it take me 6 months to 12 months to probably reach a a salary of 60, 70,000 pounds. Um, it is true. Six to 12 months, you pro probably get a salary of 60, 70,000 pounds quite easily. Um, whether it's contracting or, you know, permanent job. The other thing is, is that if you are looking to get contracting and you want to be contracting from 400, 500 pounds a day to, you know, 700 pounds, you could achieve that quite easily within about... I don't know, 18 months at 700 pounds. Reason being is because the technology keeps changing so much. You know, the te technology changing and being varied. As long as, you ch as long as you are up to date with the changes and you force yourself to, to do labs and stuff at home, you know, there's no doubting about it that you can achieve that. And, you know, what will happen is I've trained um well not trained but i've helped one person recently become a contractor move away from permanent work to contracting his name's kudzi we'll get him on the show later and you know we talked through cut talked through like where kudzi was and stuff like that so you know look out for that video i think sometime next month or month after we'll be looking at doing that as well so we've got two things to look forward to right the book what i've learned and you know the guy that i've mentored anyway Let's, let's get let's get to it. Where we are in the sector today is unbelievable. Um, these jobs here that you've got, like head of Dev DevOps, these are permanent roles and senior security and stuff like that. This here, this rank year year on year, is telling me that these are actually dropping by two hundred eighty seven points, two hundred ninety two minus three two three. So you need to be able to, when you're looking for the market, try to see like where's popular. Now, that's where it's very important. Don't necessarily do technology if you're looking to get into the technology market of, <clears throat> of something niche, something just unique to like one dot of the market. I'm trying to find a, a technology that's really popular across the whole board, that's how you actually get, you know, as, as much job offers as you possibly can. You go up the uh, the the you know the ladder the salary ladder as much as you probably can but if you you know if you're doing stuff like aws azure google cloud you can't go wrong but it's what's popular within those those cloud 
verticals that that will help you like security um kubernetes containerization governance identity access management if you specialize in that then what will happen is is that you'll see that you're sorry we go leaps and bounds you know devops to woolly i think the market's changing now where it's like okay if you're devops um we expect you to do automation and everything but some companies are being specific as to like what they want from that kind of candidate but anyway um although let's take for the first four although you can see that there are you know minus in the rank meaning the most popular or popular there are like you know average in here what minus 250 i'm just pulling an arbitrary number here don't pin, pin me to it they're still going up in salary you know but not a tremendous amount well but if we look at a rule that mm, let's see if we could find one there there were okay that's zero the market is changing again. Okay, so what's this one? Missouri Data Factory. Yes, I'm seeing more jobs going up like that. It is up by 34, but although it's going up in popularity or rank, salary range is only going up by plus four. You know, so this is taking time to mature, is what that's telling me. If I look here for contracting, again, you've got this is minus 183 but it's gone up by 25% in the median daily rate. And security technical architecture, yeah, is tremendously popular and tremendously important. And it's 785 pounds per day. How can you say no to contracting? I just don't get it. So, um, you know, if you're into security or if you're looking to get into it and you want to know, well, is it going to pay off? Hell yes, it's going to pay off big time. Let's look at it live to like what's on offer. So I literally punched this in like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes ago. And four new jobs is just bring up. Okay, it's automated. Maybe something came on from, from yesterday. But the point being is that there's four new jobs. Here's something that's caught my eye this morning at 700 to 850 pounds per day. Okay, albeit it is inside R35. But again, if somebody is saying, well, contracting is not stable, you know, I don't want to be bounced around from one place to the next three to six months. You don't. This place is 12 months, and I bet you anything they'll extend. You know, if you're any good, if you're good in your skills and stuff like that, these guys will probably extend you for another 12 months. You know, and you're seeing it day in and day out from there. Now, a lot of people will say, okay, well, which one is better, a limited company or inside R35? everything's got its benefits the thing about having an inside r35 role is, is that you don't have to worry about having an accountant paying that um actually I take that back about the accountant bit i'll tell you why but you don't have to pay an accountant uh the 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 wages that they need or you don't need to pay an accountant the fees of which they demand on a yearly basis as much as you were at i35 and you don't have to worry about paying VAT. You don't have to worry about corporation tax. And the reason why I say about that worry is that because when you get paid on a limited company, you get all this money coming in. But until you can actually say, well, I'll have an account here for what actually is profit, an account here for what is actually VAT, an account here for what um, bank accounts I'm talking about, for what here is actually corporation tax, and you break it down like that, and you got the time to do that, you know, those are, those are the overheads that you need to be able to consider. Inside our 35 role, is like being paid as a normal salary. And, and that's about it. Why, you know, why if you're an inside our 35 role, would you need an accountant? You still need an accountant if, for example, um, your umbrella company is not really good at paying your tax. You need an umbrella, you need an accountant to, to verify that your umbrella company has actually done something or have done their job due diligently. And the best thing for you to do is to pay the accountant 500 pounds for a peace of mind. Because trust me, when the HMRC sends that brown letter through the door, 
yeah, you want a good night's sleep, you know? So you pay for the insurance, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you do. And I think that's about it. Just stay tuned. I'll talk to you more about the book in my next video. I hope I hope I finish it. But then if not, I'll just tell you more about the job market. And, you know, I'll ping Kudzi and see what he says about doing a, doing a small video, probably 20, 30 minutes. And then you could, you know, you could get a feel for what he's done. So yeah, anything other than that, thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, share if you care. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye.